In this video, we are going to look a little bit into the creation of stripping blankets. Also, pretty much the workflow of how to cover uh, auto lock A and B style along with that. So I use a standard auto lock A. I use a 350 GSM SBS board and I type some standard dimensions. Now I also run the standard for the auto lock B style, same board and enter the same dimensions. So both my one up designs are ready. Now in order to create the varnish free blanket or the coating free blanket, you use this button. Then you enter a value. This value represents the offset from the crease line internally or from the cut line externally. So I choose a value of 3mm and I then click in within this layer. Automatically RTO scan will be able to detect that this is the panel. And once you give OK, a coating free layer is created. On a similar sense, I would also create a another coating free area for let's say a barcode. I use con lines, then I use a standard rectangle tool to define. Now I move to the second B style and do the same thing. Create a layer, give a value and click on the panel, it will automatically create. Use con lines, use the exact panel. Is the same standard square tool to create a layer. So as you can see now both my designs have the coating free layers defined in the one up stage. So now I'm going to save this in the resource view under the name of Bala auto lock bottom A style and Bala auto lock bottom B style. Quickly, what I do is also use the measure tool and identify what is the nesting distance. So it's going to be 152.5. Now I'm going to convert this into the manufacturing or the step and repeat layout. I choose the necessary parameters. The one up of auto lock A is added. So I will go and I'll quickly add the second one up. Then I will move this on to a position of zero, zero. Once this is done, I move it by a distance of the value 152.5 plus another 3 for a gutter distance. In fact, I would rotate it once and then move. Three mm. Yeah. So now the auto lock bottom A and B are positioned accurately. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a nesting of this. So quickly, I select it. I enter the uh, gutter distance, which is along the Y, which will be the same 155.5. After this, I use the straight nesting tool. I just drag it across. Now I'll do the same thing for also the B style. And within quick time, 
I will arrive at a nest of this with a gutter distance on the y side as 3 with the other layers overlapping. Now I'll go and shrink this layout to fit exactly to the size. Now here's where I can create a coating free layer. I go to tools, geometry macros and within the many things I can go to the manufacturing tools and find that there is a macro called coating blanket. I select the macro, I enter all the relevant details such as the layer that I am using, whether the stripping direction is horizontal or vertical and then enter the size of the blanket. Now this is in accordance to the standard press parameters that you use. I can also put factors like what's the clamp elements, whether I need threshold, a lot of these details. So once I give OK, what happens is there's a separate layer called a coating blanket layer which is created as per the exact size as you can see here. Now in order to cut the exact stripping blanket on a cutting table like Kongsberg, what I do is go to the outputs, select the cutting table and choose the option of coating blanket layer. Here's where the critical thing comes in. I don't export it directly but I apply a distortion factor because the blanket distorts when it is mounted on a press on the blanket cylinder and it distorts in the circumferential direction. So based on a lookup table I enter a particular scale or a value for this and then when I say make sample it will be able to give me a auto lock bottom cutting blanket layer. So this ACM can be fired off directly to your Kongsberg table. It can be registered and cut perfectly using the tools of Kongsberg. Thank you.